For centuries, just a few of warrior women from the past have grabbed the audience's attention. Boudicca's chariot with spiky wheels and Joan of Arc's armored teen are the most well-known. There is, however, one lesser-known female fighter. Aethelflaed, Lady of the Mercians, died and was buried in Gloucester 11 centuries ago. As a mother and lady, as well as a daughter and wife of monarchs, she is one of the few women known to have wielded influence on the battlefield. And today we will be talking about her, Aethelflaed, the warrior queen who crushed Vikings. According to some experts, England would have never even existed without her, so please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. She was a superhuman in an era which was mostly male-dominated. For the first time in English history, she gave her throne directly to her daughter. Her father, Alfred the Great, her husband, Aethelred of Mercia, and her nephew, Aethelstan, the monarch of the All of Britain, have all overshadowed her in her life. Aethelflaed was born to Alfred the Great of Wessex and his wife, Eelswith, a daughter of a monarch, during the Viking invasion of England in 870. Her hand was promised to Aethelred, Lord of the Mercians, a considerably older man, strengthening the connection between Mercia and Wessex. Aethelflaed, on the other hand, went on to establish herself to be an outstanding leader and political thinker, rather than just a wife and mother. She did give birth to one child, a daughter named Aelfwin, and she suffered great pain. But after that, Aethelflaed appears to have shied away from sexual intimacy for the rest of her life, claiming, according to chronicler William of Malmesbury, that it was unbecoming of a princess to give way to a pleasure that, after some time, produced such painful consequences. It wasn't until 910 that Aethelflaed gained a reputation as a ruler who could stop the Vikings invasion of the English-speaking world, refortifying Chester before they attempted and eventually failed to breach its walls. Danish Vikings had been in charge of most of northern England for nearly a century when Aethelflaed's brother Edward the Elder, Alfred the Great's successor, led an attack on Mercia, believing the Anglo-Saxon armies were farther south. This led to the Battle of Tettenhall on August 5, 910, in what is now Wolverhampton. The Anglo-Saxon Chronicle claimed that many thousands of soldiers perished, and the death of two Danish monarchs, Helfden and Aulas, meant that their defeat was the defeat of the last great raiding army from Denmark. Thanks to Aethelflaed, the Vikings were totally crushed, and that led to a surge in combined power that would eventually lead to a unified England under one domestic ruler for Aethelflaed and Edward's combined armies. We will end our video here. If you have any thoughts, please let us know in the comments section. Like and subscribe to the Vikings Code channel, because we will continue providing you the authentic information regarding Vikings. Don't forget to hit the bell icon as well, and we will see you in the next one.